Hi everybody and welcome back. Now within our class we can create as many instances as we want from our class. So let's create a second book called Your Book. So here we go. So Your Book equals book and let's give it some different names. So let's say um, it's the uh, it's the everything store and I'm just looking for it now on my bookshelf and okay here we go. So we have the everything store There we go, so there's its name. Then we have its price, let's say 9.99. That's an integer, 9.9, .9, sorry, that's a float, 9.99 .9 because it has a decimal place. And then the publisher, and I just to just keep it easy, I'm just gonna say Virgin Books, because I can't remember who publishes it. And from this distance from my bookshelf, I can't see it. So there we go, we have created your book. Now, how do we call that? Well, like we did previous lecture, we just go back to calling our method, so your book, and let's call it, uh, let's say you're reading a hardback book. So your book dot hardback. Brackets. There we go. The Everything Store is a hardback book. So even if we use the same name, price and publisher for the second book, Python would still create a separate instance from the book class. You can make as many instances from the one class you need, as long as you give each instance a unique variable name, or as long as it occupies a unique spot in a list or a dictionary. So as you can see, very easy to create instances and then very easy to call the methods for those instances within our code. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next lecture.